Welcome to your daily guidance. I always get leery when I get these cards that come to me and they do want to come out today. So I think these are going to be a general message. Ooh, earth magic. Yay. That's a positive one. What I'm getting is that you guys need to be remembering and leaning on the other side to help you. Sometimes it feels like you're alone in this, right? But be vigilant and start working with fairies, um, unicorns, leprechauns, whatever you need to. Like, just remember that you have allies on the other side behind the scenes in the subtle energy that isn't super obvious, but they're there to help you. They're here to do that. They're here to help humanity. They're here to um, help you stay the path, stay the course, keep your original intentions intact to have this beautiful new life. Um, so allow it to unfold. Don't don't fight against it. Use use every tool in your bag. Masculine stillness. I feel like this is just going in in that in that. Um, being in the moment, like just being real still in your heart so that the clarity can come to you. If you, when you're overthinking things and you're just totally in your head trying to figure stuff out, you can't really get anywhere. You have to, um, I talked about being in the woods the other day where you get lost as a kid, you're just like wandering forever and you go on this incredible adventure and see all these neat things and, and you lose all track of time and space. But things become more clear to you when you do that. You know, when you still your heart and you still your mind, all of a sudden everything turns beautiful and you know just what to do and you know the path to take. Feminines know that they have a new beginning happening. So this feels actually quite the opposite of what you usually get with these cards. These earth cards have like volcano and eruption and all this crazy chaos stuff, right? But this seems to be a total message of peace. So, oh my gosh. I've never even seen this card in there. Love and compassion? What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, what's, what's happening right now? What is this? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out who wants to, okay. This is so interesting. Another daring deck. Okay, so the masculines are going inside for stillness. They're just quieting their mind. They're finally, it feels like they're finally like, I'm not listening to the, to the little devil on my shoulder anymore. Like, just shut up. You know, enough doubting, enough delay, enough everything having to be perfect, enough worrying about what will happen or if I'll get hurt or if they'll get hurt or if like, oh my gosh, the what ifs could go forever, right? So they're finally shutting that up and they're coming to this point of just stillness. They're having compassion for themselves and their feminine and the feminines are also having compassion, which is creating this new beginning She's she's ready. It just this has a feel of like waking up in the morning and that sun just starts to come up everywhere. Actually, that's what's happening right now too in my environment. It looks just like this, actually. And then eat. So, but there is love being born and and give credit to if you have already been praying to angels or to fairies or whatever. It's like your vigilance is about to pay off, and they're they're they've been helping you all along. A disappointment in some affair. See? No. <laughs> All right, let's find out more about that. <laughs> uh, okay, handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Um, okay, disappointment in meeting with a stranger that could be important. They just said don't run with scissors in your hand. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Oh, okay. They're actually saying that someone's going to offer you a hand in some area of your life where you have been disappointed. Where you may have, like, stabbed yourself. Like, you, like you um, 
you know how they say like you, you stabbed yourself in the foot is that the saying <laughs> like you did something to hurt yourself and you kind of feel dumb and somebody is actually giving you a leg up or a hand a hand with that look at that a hand it's your partner your person is going to help you heal something that was a disappointment in the past yes and it's it's your your person um if you guys haven't met yet it's there's cuz they're a stranger and they're going to they're going to help you fix I, even affairs if you guys have had affairs with people before in your old relationships this person is going to help heal that with compassion they're not going to cheat on you like the other person did i feel like a private investigator sometimes with these cards it's so cool <laughs> okay barrel you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love money or goals okay so that's where the feminines have been at right sorry um okay boot increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals <laughs> the feminines are like no i'm not doing one more thing <laughs> i've done so much to show my love for him and he's done nothing so um let's find out let's ask the little kid little mini kitty cards to tell us more about that Aw, they're constantly thinking about you and they just want to celebrate masculines. So increasing your efforts to achieve your goal, what is the effort that they need to increase? What do they need to be doing, spirit? What do the feminines need to be doing? Obviously, they're thinking about their masculines nonstop and wanting to celebrate. Okay, so watch the signs and synchronicities, basically, and... Um, I feel like know that the masculines have, oh, visit past lives. Take a look at the past life stuff too. Look at the history you guys have in a past life in the victories that you've had in those past lives. Um, also know that the masculines have a fear of missing out on this opportunity with you. Get good sleep. Get better sleep. Just take really good care of yourself. Be in a state of joy. Be in a state of joy and be thinking of them in a positive way. Like be milking the good memories that you've had. Like even make a list of all the pings that, that he's given you. All the signs that make you feel like, yes, he's definitely the one. Um, make a list of that so that when you doubt and when you worry if this beginning is going to be happening or not, you can actually remind yourself of, of how sure you really are about it. You know, because sometimes we forget. We get that ping and we're just like, oh, yeah, that was incredible. That was totally a direct hit. And then it's like a couple days goes by and nothing happens again. And you're like, well, maybe I wasn't that. Maybe that wasn't directed at me. Or maybe, <laughs> like, maybe he, could he like someone else? Or maybe it's like, you know, it's like you it really plays with your head. And so they're like, be certain about those signs. Be certain about those signs that you see and like prove it to yourself to keep your, uh, keep your, your focus positive on this person. Like, don't worry about this person not coming into your life. Try to prove to yourself that they are going to keep your faith and keep in it, keep in a state of joy, both in, when you're thinking about him and when, and just in your general life, like cultivate joy somehow, like have fun and dance and celebrate with your friends and do whatever you can <clears throat> to keep in a positive mood um, as best you can, as best you can. So I feel like since we did that for the masculine or for the feminines over there, I feel like we'll get a couple cards advice for the for the masculines as well as the stillness. Oh, wow. They're transforming the devil. <laughs> They're transforming their insecurity by going within and just being quiet and quieting that negative voice. The voice that says they can't do it or something's going to go wrong or they're going to fail or it's going to end up like the past relationship or whatever. They're having more compassion with themselves. They're going through a major trans... Didn't I say they're not listening to that devil on their shoulder anymore? This is proof of that. There's the devil card and the death card. The death card means transformation of the other card. He is transforming the devil. He's not listening to it anymore, you guys. 
Yay. And maybe that's also how the feminine's going to help with some kind of disappointment in the past. You know, you guys are going to transform each other in a very beautiful way. Okay, so I feel like grabbing one of these now. Overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything with compassion and love, you guys. Reach out to one another. Masculines, reach out to your feminines. And in, in, from the heart, create this new beginning from a place of stillness and surrender within you. Ask the fairies to help if you need, but be really vigilant in this because it's time. All right. Have yourselves a beautiful day, guys. Talk to you tomorrow. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Also, feel free to join me at patreon.com forward slash Amy Satori where I post monthly energy readings, pick a decks, and other goodies for members only, including discounts for readings and being entered to win a free reading at the end of the year. Memberships start as low as $5.55 a month. Sometimes I even put my free collective love readings on Patreon first before uploading them here to YouTube. If you're wanting more information about my show on TuneIn Radio, how to order a personal reading, or other goings-on, you can check the description of my videos for the most up-to-date information.